Everybody, this is Dan O'Donnell with Key Digital. Uh, today we're in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're at the Atlanta History Center to give you a first look at the Atlanta History Center Compass Control Project uh, done by our friends at SDI Worship. So let's go inside and take a look and see what Aaron has in store for us. For this job, why did you select Compass Control? Well, actually, cost was a lot of it, to be totally honest with you. One of the requirements, though, was that it had to run on an iPad. And the budget was pretty tight for what they wanted to do. And originally, Compass was brand new when we did this project. And originally, we really started looking at it because of cost. But when we started seeing the features it added to the system and what you could do, and that it basically gave you more advanced controls like the big boys at the price tag of the little guys that do home AV, uh, it was hard to pass up. So <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Stan, so uh, having Compass, how long have you had it installed in, your, in, your, uh, in the History Center here? Just about a year. Just about a year? Yes. And, uh, and, and uh, being the facilities manager and, and really being the man of the house, uh, <laughs> what kind of experiences can you tell us uh, you've uh, encountered with Compass Control? Well, we enjoy it because we can use the iPad to control all the features, the lights, the uh, projector, the mini Mac, uh, all the uh, microphones, so it's, it's, it's really convenient. So when we did this project, I'm going to be honest, we didn't really know what Compass was capable of. We just knew we had a good cost control system we could work with, right? Then we started finding out what the control system can do, and we started learning things like the fact that the control code actually lives in the iPad. We found it was brilliant. So we started trying to push the limits of it. One of the coolest things we've done in this project that we haven't done in almost any other project is the lighting. Um, and we're working on this same type of lighting setup at a couple other projects now because of this. But we've actually been able to make the compass control system operate DMX controlled lighting. And what you can see when we do that is we've just used standard faders to do this. And when we adjust the fader level on the lighting, the lighting up, the theatrical lighting actually changes. <laughs> so we can, we can pull out all the other lighting colors and have just red. We can control it, bring the red down, and we can bring in some green. <laughs> or we can even bring in blue. And then we can combine that with the fact that they already had an in-house Lutron system, and we can bring in the house lighting as well. And it's all super simple. We can recall the presets, whatever we need to do. And we're able to do this. This isn't built into, the only part of this that's built into an exterior control is what presets there are and that's the already programmed in Lutron. Everything else is all controlled from Compass. It's all code in the Compass system saying I want presets okay well 90% of the lighting it's all commands we send through Compass to get it. <laughs> so it's a pretty cool system. We also have the ability to control the Mac Mini for presentation like Keynote and PowerPoint. We have complete control over the Apple TV. The whole system is set up on AirPlay so we can wirelessly transmit video from any Apple device over the Apple TV. Um, all the sources for the audio and video can actually be independently selected, separate switching for audio video, which is pretty cool. And we've got a room combined system as well to add the audio to two other rooms or to actually control the audio in those rooms. Mic inputs, master, and then the lobby just has a master control. So this was actually our first Compass project and we could not be more pleased with how the system turned out. Digital KD HD 8x8BT. Now they're bringing out a new version of this pretty soon, but the switcher is pretty cool. It's fully capable of audio and video as well as control actually, matrix switching independently of each other. So 
you've got eight ins and eight outs, well that's eight control, eight audio, and eight video that you can actually switch independently of each other. We also use some uh, key digital scaling units, and this is the compass control processor right here. That's what actually gives us the RS-232 and IR command control that we need. Um, the IP stuff, believe it or not, is all just on the network. The iPad just talks to it. So it's a pretty cool setup. We're very pleased. Uh, 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 uh.